What's going on, everyone? So the Los Angeles Lakers are just not very good this year. They are in a very tough spot. Um, once again, they are in the 10th seed. Uh, they are half a game ahead of the Houston Rockets. Um, but now they are just moving farther and farther away from actually making a playoff spot and not being a play-in game. Right now, they are four games out of fifth, which is a lot of games to catch up on. And they are three and a half behind the Dallas Mavericks for sixth, which again, is a lot of games to get caught up on. And I just don't see this team just magically turning it around without a trade. Right? And honestly, they need multiple pieces. They need several pieces. Right? However they approach this, they got to get multiple guys. And don't underestimate the value of getting a multiplayer trade. Right? Because the Lakers lack energy. They lack effort. But those players, they're coming in. They're not dealing with the noise. They're not dealing with the media. They're not dealing with the band. They're not dealing with any. They're excited to be there. They have something to prove. They're ready to engage. They're excited to be Lakers, right? They're going to go out there and give 100% game in and game out. And then you have LeBron and AD. So you go get three guys. Then you got LeBron and AD. There's four or five. And Jared Vanderbilt, you know for sure, is going to show up. So there's at least six guys that are going to show up. And then that becomes contagious, right? So then the, the other guys end up showing up, right? So I just think if the Lakers make the right move, they can turn this around. Look at last season as an example. But the problem is the Lakers need a trade sooner rather than later. And based on reports, it looks like the Lakers are kind of weighing multiple trade options, multiple directions in which they want to go. Do they want to go with like a full turnaround roster rehaul, go get three, four, five players uh, like they did last year? Do they want to go get that impact, that big star guy and maybe like a a nice rotation piece, you know, a DeJounte Murray, a Zach Levine, however, right? Or do they want to just stand pat? Like, they have various options in which they can and are gauging. And based on the reports, it looks like the Lakers want to remain patient. They want to stay patient between now and the trade deadline. And look, Rob Polinka has been excellent when it comes to just being patient, waiting for the right deals to fall in your lap. And I credit him. Problem is, is that the Lakers are so far behind the eight ball and only continuing to sink. They might not, it might not even be worth making a trade come the trade deadline. If the Lakers are five, six games under 500, season's over. They're not, you're not coming back up. Maybe you get into like the ninth or tenth seed or something like that. Or maybe you just go on a crazy run and you're like in a play in the you know, seventh, eighth seed. And you know. I just, why? What's the point? At that point, you might as well just go into the offseason. It sucks that this season would be a waste, but it is what it is. You go into the offseason, come draft day, you could potentially have three first-round picks, and you could go look to trade. Like, what if uh, a Donovan Mitchell becomes available? And now you got three firsts, Austin Reeves, Rui Hachimura has like a trade package to go get him, and then whatever else you need to trade. Right? That'd be a good position for the Lakers to be in. So, I don't know. I just, it's a tough spot to be in. Now, Personally, it looks like they're heavily targeting DeJounte Murray. DeJounte Murray seems to be the deal that kind of looks like is the most likely. Um, Zach Levine rolled his ankle. He's out for two weeks, which would put him back uh, right around the trade deadline, right? Like maybe like a week out from the trade deadline. You know, how much of it is like just the Bulls being precautious and they don't want him to get hurt even further so that way... You know, it doesn't mess anything up for them to potentially trade him. Like, reports even came out today that, you know, Chicago's still very adamant about trading Zach Levine, and they want to get rid of him sooner rather than later because they don't want to... They want to see if they're trading DeMar and all these other pieces. So, we'll see. Time will tell. Personally, I'm leaning more and more... Or I'm believing more and more that it's unlikely that the Lakers land Zach Levine. I just think he's been hurt twice in the last month. I think the Lakers already had their concerns and their questions, and I just think that they're not going to go make a big push, make a big move for Zach Levine, unless they can get, like, if you get Alex Caruso, Andre Drummond, and, like, Torrey Craig, then maybe the Lakers would be willing to do it, but it doesn't look like Chicago really wants to do that. It looks like Chicago, they just want to kind of trade Zach Levine and be done with it, and then figure it out from there, so I don't think the Lakers would necessarily do that. Now, DeJounte Murray, if you get DeJounte Murray and you can get him for the right price, then you can maybe do get other pieces, um, also, could you get those other pieces from Atlanta? Look, if the Lakers just get DeJounte Murray or just get Zach Levine, I don't think that one of those guys by themselves will be enough to, to 
all of a sudden Lakers are a top five team. I just don't. I think they'll be much better because they'll have that consistent third guy game in and game out that you can rely on. And look, I I have concerns about DeJounte Murray and his fit, but he can't be worse than like Austin Reeves has been so far this season. He can't be worse than many of the guys on this Lakers roster. At least he he's gonna give you effort, he's gonna give you energy, he's out here hitting game winners every game. Right? Like he he's looked good this season. Zach Levine, right? He would be a a, a better fit, in my opinion. Give you that score, give you that just elite, just go get you a bucket type guy whenever you need it. Um, the big name guys are likely the direction that the Lakers go. But to me, what are the other pieces? What else are you getting besides these two? Because if you just get these two, again, I don't think it's enough this season to turn your season around. I mean, you never know, right? What if they do get DeJounte Murray and he's just absolute game busters and he's back to all defensive defender type guard. He's out here playing point guard. He's giving you, you know, 23 six and nine or something like that. He's just taking over games down the stretch, hitting big shots, right? and he's allowed to play the role that, that he should be playing. Maybe, maybe Lakers turn it around. You never know. Again, don't underestimate the impact of, of a quality trait. But I do think the Lakers have multiple holes, and I do think that they need to get other pieces. Now, again, does... So if they stay away from Zach Levine, what if DeJounte Murray doesn't happen? What if other teams come in and swoop in and take DeJounte Murray. Because, look, the Lakers don't have a lot of assets. Lakers don't have a lot of tradable pieces. And according to reports, they have no interest in trading Austin Reeves. I am on the, in the mindset of, like, go trade Austin Reeves. Especially, like, could you convince them to take Austin Reeves instead of a first? Like, hey, okay, tell you what, we'll give you Austin Reeves, but we want to keep one of the first. So we'll give you Austin Reeves, we'll give you a pick swap, we'll give you, a, you know, a couple seconds. Give us DeJounte Murray. You get your guy... We get our guy. Everyone's happy. And now you have a first, probably like two more seconds. D'Lo, Rui, Gabe Vincent, package them together. Maybe you go get Zach Levine. Maybe you go get other pieces, right? It just puts you in a much better position, much better circumstance, right? Now you go get other pieces. The other option the Lakers are waiting outside of like the, the big name is, you know, all the little like multiple pieces. But to me, this, you definitely, you'd have to get like three or four guys. Right, like, if you just get like a Bruce Brown, I don't think that's enough to turn your season around. Um, if Dejounte Murray or Zach Levine likely don't turn it around by themselves, no individual role guy is going to do that. Right, but now if you could get, you know, a, a, a Gary Trent, a Terry Rozier, a Tre- a Tyus Jones, Daniel Gaffer, right? If you could get three or four pieces somehow, some way, and kind of rehaul the roster, now you're in a position to where I think the Lakers could turn around their season. Because now you're just you're going to be better by process elimination and at addition by committee, right? So now you got all these pieces that are coming in that now you're just trying to build that chemistry and expedite that, and you're off to the races. But again, it just depends on what those pieces are. And so I do get the idea of like, hey, let's go get multiple pieces rather than just a DeJounte Murray or just a Zach Levine, right? Especially like if DeJounte Murray essentially takes all of your assets, right? Yeah, you'd still have Reeves to trade, but if you're not trading Austin Reeves for DeJounte Murray, they're probably not trading Austin Reeves for like a Dorian Finney-Smith or a, you know, a Bruce Brown or, you know, a, a, a Gary Trent Jr. or anything like that. If you're not trading, if you're not willing to trade Austin Reeves for an all-star defensive point guard, you're probably not trading him for a role guy, right? So my concern is that the Lakers make the big move in like a DeJounte Murray, and then that's it, and they just are off to the races. And I don't know if that's enough to turn your season around. I hope so. You never know, right? But again, the Lakers just, they look like they need a lot. And so my thing is like, okay, if you if you could get four quality guys over just DeJounte Murray for the same price as DeJounte Murray, do you go get those four quality guys, right? Do you kind of stick with the depth route, kind of upgrade around the edges, 
like I said, maybe you're getting, you know, instead of getting DeJounte Murray, you know, or or just a Zach Levine, you're basically shipping out three, four guys to get back three, four guys, and you're kind of just upgrading in those spots. Again, depends on what the players are, but if you could get, you know, let's say you get a Tyus Jones, Daniel Gaffer, um, you get a, you know, Gary Trent Jr., and, you know, like a, a Sadiq Bay or something. Right. To me, I'd be like, okay, or let's say a Royce O'Neal or whatever. To me, it's like, okay, well now, like the Lakers, they got basically a roster rehaul with guys that are just better fit that do things that the Lakers need. They still have youth. They still have basically everything that you could ask for. Got some shooting upgrades, all that stuff. Like to me, it's just got your backup center. I don't hate that idea. I don't. Um, I don't know. Time will tell. Right, I get them wanting to be patient. I get that they want to remain patient, but you're in just such a tough spot. You got LeBron James and Anthony Davis playing the best that they've played since in years. Right, they've been healthy too. Knock on wood. And my concern is just like, how much longer can they keep this up? How much longer can they maintain this? You know, without the help, for you just kind of wear them down, and then you go and you end up making a trade, and at that point, it's too late. You're too far behind. Now everyone's got to work twice. It's just, this isn't how the season was supposed to go. I just genuinely think you need to get something done sooner rather than later. I do. I really do. I think the Lakers need, I don't think that they have the luxury of waiting till the trade deadline. They just aren't good enough, and I don't think that they're going to be able to weather the storm long enough, but anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? Do you think that uh, the Lakers should go with the big name? Do you think you go with, you know, go get three, four different rotation guys, kind of go that route? However you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I would love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, if you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Let's me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.